Hello there YouTube, my name is Rob and today we are discussing Download Festival. Download Festival! Because today, possibly yesterday depending on how quickly I can get this video up, Download Festival announced their headliners for 2020, as well as some other small events and we'll discuss all of these things in this video. So the headliners for Download Festival 2020 are Kiss, Iron Maiden and System of a Down. And we're going to talk about them because, I mean let's face it, that's not the best lineup in the world. Let's start with KISS, shall we? Because KISS played Download Festival a few years ago. I mean, KISS are pretty good. I like KISS. They have a couple of good songs. Um, they did Detroit Rock City. They did the one about partying every day, unless that's the same song. I don't know. I'm not a massive fan of KISS. They were there a few years ago. They're an older band. I don't think they really have the pull that they can play every few years. So KISS, I'm probably least excited about this, this one. Uh, anyway, next, Iron Maiden. I love Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden are like my childhood band. They are fantastic. I love them. Let's face it, everyone loves Iron Maiden. They're fantastic. Yunnan loves Iron Maiden. But, again, I mean, Iron Maiden have played Download Festival more times than any other band. And it's getting a little bit old now. I don't know if they have any new stuff. I've not heard about a new album. But what I'm trying to say is I am fine for more Iron Maiden. I love them, but maybe this spot could have gone to a smaller, younger band and Download Festival could try and push them up. I think I would have preferred that than seeing Iron Maiden again. And that's, again, no insult to Iron Maiden. They're fantastic. I love them. But they've played a lot of times. Maybe it could have been a smaller band's chance. And third and finally, System of a Down. And again, I love System of a Down. They are fantastic. I've only seen them once and it was a few years ago at Download Festival. Again, why are they playing it again? They played it just a few years ago. Again, I don't think they have any new stuff out. I don't think there is a new album to promote. So why are they here? Again, I'm not hating them. I love this band. But why are they here instead of someone else? Now, I am probably most excited for System. I've only seen them the once and it was a few years ago, so it would be great to see them again. But this whole lineup feels a little bit lazy. It's a lazy lineup. It just feels like they got a few bands who played a few years ago and brought them back. Rather than trying to push newer, younger bands, it just feels like they've gone for what is old and familiar and the same. Like, there is nothing new and exciting here. Tool, last year, had not played in like 15 years. That was crazy and exciting. The year before that, Avenged Sevenfold headlined. They are smaller, they have less of a following. That was crazy, that was exciting. None of these bands have that effect on me. I'm like, yeah, I know these bands, I've seen them before. It's not that crazy. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a lazy lineup? Are you really excited for any of these bands? Um, what do you think about this lineup in general this year? What do you think it's going to be like? Let me know in the comments. But now we are on to the smaller bands, which honestly I am more excited for. So let's start with the smaller bands they announced that I am super hyped for. The Offspring, Korn, Ailstorm. Three of my favourite bands ever. Uh, let's start with The Offspring. I missed them when they played Download last time because I went to Sonosphere, which I don't regret, that Sonosphere was amazing, but I really regretted missing The Offspring. I was actually starting to worry that I would never see The Offspring because they're getting a bit too old and maybe they'd pack it in. So, really excited for that. The Offspring are fantastic. I love them. I am excited to see, I am excited to be there. Next up we have Korn, and I am really excited for Korn because Korn have a new album out. This album, that is, oh wait, this album, <laughs> Sorry. This is a fantastic album. This is great. I might even do a review of this album. It's like Slipknot, but it's corn. It's so good. Really excited for this. Really excited for this. And Ailstorm. It's pirate metal. I love it. Um, I don't think they played last year. I think it's been a few years since they played, but they're great. They're fantastic. I love them. Excited for this. Uh, aside from that, there is a bunch of smaller bands that I'm not that into, but I know have big followings. Uh, so there's Disturbed, Deftones, uh, Black Veil Brides. I mean, there's a lot of smaller bands that I know have big followings I'm just not a big fan of. Honestly, I think that the fans are going to have more of a reaction to these bands than these bands. Now, let me know in the comments what you think. Which ones are you more excited for? But honestly, these three we've seen before. These ones, smaller, haven't played as often. I think they're going to get a really good reception. Anyway, that is just my opinion. Let me know your opinion down in them comments. My name is Rob. Please follow me on the social medias at OverEdgeKid. Subscribe to me on here. Buy me a coffee on Ko-Fi. All of those nice things. You guys are great. My name is Rob and I will see you in another video very soon.